Cup, Wednesday, May 24th, 2023, Morning Edition. Please pardon any visual and informational inaccuracies in this entirely AI-generated video. First, this day in history. 1218, the Fifth Crusade leaves Acre for Egypt. 1607, Jamestown, the first permanent English colony in North America, is founded. Today's obituaries. Jean Haudry, 88, French linguist. Maria Giovanna Magli, 70, Italian journalist, Lunita. Domenico Minutoli, 76, Italian actor Johnny Stecchino, SPQR, 2,000 and a half years ago, Fantozzi, 2000, La Clonazione. And now on to today's news, business news. Saudi energy minister tells oil speculators to watch out, Bloomberg. Stock futures are mixed as Wall Street watches for debt ceiling progress. Live updates, CNBC. AI summary of this story. With the U.S.'s June 1st ex-date deadline fast approaching, investors are closely analyzing debt limit negotiations in Washington. But some traders view the lack of major updates as a warning that lawmakers may be struggling to work together and progress. While House Republicans are questioning the accuracy of the projected default date, some have described recent market stability as impressive. However, experienced chief client officer Sandy Bregar remains cautious about the market's future, noting that recession fears persist. Science News. Betelgeuse is being weird again. What gives? Science alert. Solar storm alert. Sunspot about to explode shows NOAA satellite can blast X-class solar flares. HT Tech. AI summary of this story. The highly unstable sunspot, R3311, which caused radio blackouts on Earth last week, could erupt again, resulting in a more powerful solar storm event with a wider radio blackout. The sunspot has a beta gamma delta magnetic field, and there is a 75% chance of M-class flares and a 30% chance of X-flares, according to a report by spaceweather.com. If an X-class solar flare occurs, it could trigger a G5-class geomagnetic storm that could damage satellites and disrupt GPS. Multiple simultaneous eruptions could further complicate matters. Now a poem about today's science news. O Betelgeuse, what ailment afflicts thy star? Thou art behaving quite bizarre. Science alert doth report of the strange behaviour we cannot abort. And lo, there is more to fear. A sunspot about to burst and sear. Noah warns of solar flares that could bring on earthly scares. O heavens, what tumultuous times are these when celestial bodies do as they please. Let us hope and pray for calm and protection from nature's harmful charm. Health news. What is the healthiest breakfast? Dietitian shares three-step recipe plan. USA Today, AI summary of this story. The Harris Poll and General Mills Food Service Survey found that 24% of Americans ate more breakfast during COVID-19 pandemic. Eggs became the most popular breakfast item. A registered dietitian nutritionist recommended a healthy breakfast that provides protein, healthy fats, and complex carbohydrates to keep one full and give sustained energy throughout the day. The recommended options include eggs with avocado and toast, Greek yogurt with cereal and fruit, or oatmeal with protein powder and nuts. Avocados, nuts, seeds, and fatty fish like salmon are recommended as healthy fat sources, while complex carbs help with digestion. Entertainment news. What makes a standing ovation last 22 minutes at Cannes? The Associated Press. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn get advice from Bruce Boudreaux, Raw Exclusive, May 22nd, 2023, WWE. Now a poem about today's entertainment news. O oh, fair can, where art doth grace, what keeps the standing ovation in place? 22 minutes, so long and grand, the audience so moved, they cannot stand. Is it the actors, their talent so true, or something more that they imbue? Perhaps tis the story so heartfelt and strong that fills the hearts of the crowd so long. And in the world of wrestling fierce and bold, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn doth hold advice from Bruce Boudreaux, wise and sound, their victory in the ring surely bound. Oh, what a world where art and sport collide and passions so fervent within us reside. The curtain falls, the match is done, but the memories forever will we carry on. Now, a silly joke or two to lighten the mood after all the heavy stuff. Ever wondered why bees hum? It's because they don't know the words. Hope you enjoyed today's artificial intelligence-generated news digest. 
For more, please like, subscribe, hit the bell button to activate notifications, and make sure to tune in next time. Stay safe and healthy. Cheers.